Wagner, we're going to test some of your knowledge on the taxes today. What is the medical term that is used to describe double vision? Is it strabismus, nystagmus, or diplovia? Double vision that is known as strabismus is actually caused by like crossed eyes. You know where you have one eye looking forward and one looking inward or a word or up and down or both of them are kind of crazy. For business is a result of your eyes focusing on two different things. Each eye focuses on a different thing because it it's, it sees different things. Remember in the last video I told you that your eyes were sort of like a camera. Well, that's correct, but the real fact is your eyes are like two cameras. They both need to focus forward at the same time. They're, it, it's kind of like a wheel alignment on a car. Both of them have to be looking at the same thing at the same time in order for them to work together properly. With nystagmus, first of all, nystagmus does not cause double vision. Nystagmus is the rapid involuntary eye movement of your eyes squirming back and forth. Um, it does cause some blurry vision. It can cause uh, inanimate objects to appear to move. To still look up into the night sky and focus, focus on a star. If the star seems to be blinking or going back and forth like that, then yes, you have some degree of nystagmus. It also ramps up your fatigue a little bit because you're you're trying to focus on something that seems to be moving. Uh, it's just, it's one of the aspects of a taxi that we're all blessed with, or most of us anyways. The correct answer to the question of what causes the double vision in a taxi is diplopia. Diplopia is when your eyes see the same thing but is slightly out of focus so that one eye sees something from one angle and the other eye sees that same thing from a slightly different angle. This causes your double vision uh, remember like I said uh, your eyes are like a couple of cameras if if the two cameras are perfectly in sync you're going to see it's the same thing if one camera is looking forward and one is slightly tilted it's going to be it's going to cause your double vision it also is a drain on your battery and uh, makes for um, makes for low energy as the day goes on. Your double vision, your diplopia, compounded with your nystagmus, are basically what cause you to see not very well. And and cause you to stumble around and and um, when you're heading for a doorway um, and you bump into the side, it's <laughs> it's not because the doorways move, as I always say. It's because you see them in a different location. Uh, yes, it's the the cause for you to be like a constant pinball machine. Basically there is not a whole lot that you can do about it. There are glasses with prism lenses that are meant to straighten out one eye but that only works for a little while because um, the muscles that control your eye are out of sync and they don't work properly because the signals from your brain 
that make them work properly is getting there. Therefore, the eyes are constantly wandering around. And when, when you have glasses that correct it in one position, your eyes are just going to wander off to another position. It, it takes a while, and for some people, the prism lenses do work. For me, they did not. I tried them on several different occasions. Um, one uh, one neuro ophthalmologist told me that my brain is not ca uh, not capable of processing single vision. However, I don't believe that to be the case. My brain is is completely capable of processing processing single vision. It just my eyes can't see in single vision because of the muscle muscle control problem. Pretty much how I see sometimes. Uh, one image is there, and the other image is kind of overlapping and at an angle, and it changes too. Changes too. It seems sometimes the longer you stare at something, the further apart it gets. As you can see here, we're looking at a leaf, and it should be in a single vision mode uh, for most of us. And as we look at it, it seems to split apart, and uh, that's what our double vision is. The thing is, with many of us, it is somewhat of an angle for the second part and the more we look at it the more it splits apart the um, cure for this is <laughs> if you if you close your right eye you're going to see this and if you close your left eye you're going to see that so you can save yourself a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money on uh, prison glasses and surgeries. What I do is <laughs> very simply close one eye. Um, there, there, it, it used to be that you would put a patch on one eye um, so that uh, you're only seeing out of one eye. Uh, also there, there are some some glasses that are made that have one frosted lens and it, it does basically the same thing makes you see out of one eye but that doesn't work for me because it doesn't allow you to switch your eyes uh, sometimes I sit I close my left eye sometimes I close my right eye and with a patch covering one of the eyes, um, that it takes away that option. Sometimes it's it's but it's easier and it's better to close one eye over the other eye uh, because of the situation, whether whether it be lighting, whether it be your positioning of looking at something, or whether you know one eye is fatigued and out of focus you, you go to the other one it's just very simple it's not the ideal solution because what that does is take away your depth perception just like nystagmus can lead to eventually get it just like stereo sound um you have your two speakers and when you have them on mono, it's it's very flat, it's it's very undefined. And I'm hoping this makes sense because it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain. the The concept is easy to understand, but it's it's just kind of hard to explain. Anyway, if you compare your eyesight to stereo sound in your ears it it should make more sense to you okay.